All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to start drawing three flat objects. This is one of your requirements. You need to have three flat objects in your room. You can definitely have more if you want. The flat objects would include rugs, paintings, doors, and windows. Now remember, another requirement for this project is you're going to be inspired by one of the rooms from the Thorn Miniature Rooms. So I shared a video about this with you. I shared pictures of this with you in the Google Slides in our Google Classroom. So um, you should have had a chance to look at all the different rooms, um, look at the architecture and the furniture, and think, what room would I like to draw? I chose the French ant room of the Empire period. I like the Egyptian influence, I like the colors. Um, so this is the architectural style that I'm going for. In the room, the flat objects I see are windows, I see the rug, there is a mirror over here, and there's a door. And there's also some pillars on the wall too. I'm not gonna get hung up in the details right now. I just wanna get the basic shapes of things. So I'm gonna show you how. I'm going to begin with a rug. So in one point perspective, remember all the lines are either horizontal, vertical, or orthogonal, aligning with the vanishing point always. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a horizontal line and this is going to be a big rug. So I'm gonna make it pretty large. And then this end and this end of my line are going to connect with the vanishing point. This is an orthogonal line. So I'm gonna draw the orthogonal line for how wide I want my rug to be. Same on the other side. And then keeping my ruler straight, I'm just gonna line it up with this back wall and slowly drag it down until I see one of my orthogonal lines. Okay, so flat object one, done, two to go. I'll probably show you four, um, but you only have to do three at minimum. I'm gonna make two windows over here. I'm going to take my ruler and make a vertical line for how tall I want my window to be. Then the ends of the line are going to connect with the vanishing point. So I'm going to make an orthogonal line. I'm gonna do two windows, but I'm just going to make things easier on myself and just draw one big orthogonal line. Then I'm going to draw a vertical line for the end of one window. Slide it down for my other window. I'm just going to do two. Okay, then I'm going to erase the lines that I don't need anymore. And then to make it look more like a window, I'm going to draw the lines that you often see in window panes. So I'm going to um, divide this window into thirds, and I'm just going to make a little line as a guesstimate for thirds. Then connecting that line, or that dot, to the vanishing point, I'm going to draw more orthogonal lines to show the panes of glass, or the pieces of glass in my window. Just like that. And then I'm going to do one more line in the middle. Let me see if I just kind of guesstimate. Window one is done and window two. So when I look at my room that I'm inspired by, there's drapery, there's an archway. I'm not gonna get into that yet. Like I said, I just wanna focus on the basic shapes right now. So rug done, windows done. I'm going to make a door right here. So I'm gonna make a vertical line for how tall I want my door to be. Make it that tall. The end of this line is going to connect with the vanishing point. 
draw my orthogonal line for how wide I want my door to be. And then I'm going to close off the shape with a vertical line. And then architectural features, of course, I can add some molding or like a door frame around the shape of my door. Just give it some architectural flourish. Let's see, I need to find a door frame. There we go. Like that. Now what's really cool is I'm going to show you how to make it look like you can look into the next room. So I'm going to look right here and right here. I'm going to make two horizontal lines to show the thickness of the wall. I'm going to draw a line for how thick I want the door to be. Same here. I'm going to make a vertical line to connect right there. And then this point right here needs an orthogonal line. So I'm going to connect this junction to the vanishing point to make that line and finish my doorway. Then really easy, I'm just going to line up my ruler with my back wall the bottom of my back wall and I'm just going to continue that on next door. And then I can erase this line just like that. So I have two rooms technically. Real quick, I'm just going to show you what you would do on this back wall. Anything flat on this back wall is just going to be a rectangle or a square or if you're going to do um, a circle. You don't have to worry about a vanishing, the vanishing point or orthogonal lines. So if I were to make a painting in the middle of this back wall, I would just draw the vertical lines for how tall I would want that painting to be, and then some horizontal lines. I'm trying to keep my ruler straight. To close it off. Like that. And then I could make swirling lines around my rectangle to make it look more like a frame. Okay? So that is a simple way of showing you how to draw your three flat objects in your room. That's one of your requirements for this project.